Hey guys, I know we're all quarantined at home and our men are probably looking a little crazy and fuzzy right now, but no need to fret. I'm here to show you how you can save the day. That's right. I'm here to show you ladies how to give your man a full haircut, shape up and beard trimming. Ready? So let's start with the haircut. I'm using zero clippers on Jason right now, which means that I have regular clippers with no attachment on them. This is the closest shave we can get. Every single attachment has a different number, which determines the closeness of the shave. Let's be careful here around the ears. Now we're going in a backward motion until we get to the back of the head. Now we're going to go upwards from the neck to the top of the head, making sure that we've covered every single inch of hair on the head. Kind of like lawn mowing, don't you think? And boom, we're halfway there. So now we're gonna move on to something a little more complicated, a fade. We're gonna use the same size zero clippers and we're gonna adjust with a little lever on the side so that we can create this illusion of a segue. If you don't have that little lever on the side, don't worry, you could just use a size half. Then we're gonna segue into a one, then we're gonna do a one and a half, and finally we're gonna do a size two. And that will complete our fade. Now that our fade is complete, we're gonna go ahead and trim the whole beard. I'm using a number five on Jason because a nice full beard looks best on his face. Once we're done with that, I'm gonna use the number three on the hair on the sides of his mouth to give it a nice tapered and neat clean look. Now it's time for the fun part, the shape up. You're gonna need a straight blade for this. I'm using Wilkinson. Make sure that your significant other washes their face with warm water to open up their pores and you're going to need something to lubricate. I'm using a spray by olive oil. So I'm going in and following the natural line with the blade carefully. The blade always remains at an angle. Use your fingers to guide you and also to create tension so that you can have a nice close tight shave. Just make sure you don't get carried away and take the line too far down. Now this next part, I'll leave only for those with the experience. Going up with a blade can be pretty dangerous. Jason likes a nice tight shave, so after going down, I go up with the blade to make sure that I get every single hair. This ensures the closest, tightest shave possible. Now I'm going sideways to create my line. Make sure you exercise a lot of precaution around the earlobes and ears. It can be a very sensitive area. I also go up after finishing the side. Now we're going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Remember, symmetry is key. Take the time to go back and forth and ensure that each side is equivalent to the other. Now we can't forget about the mustache. I'm going in with my size zero clippers again for Jason's mustache. Just be very gentle around the lips and sweep in an upward motion until you have every hair trimmed. Now back with the straight blade. Have your significant other tighten their lips. The skin between the nose and the lip can be very delicate. By adding some tension, we can ensure that we won't nick them by accident. make sure that your significant other is not talking through this process. All right, let's move on to the chin now. So again, using some lubrication, we're going to lubricate the chin and we're gonna create the lines that we desire. Some people prefer a little patch right under their lip and some people don't want any hair there. We're doing a nice clean look for Jason. And remember, only go up after you've had some practice and experience. Now we're gonna lubricate the neck and create the lines we'd like down there. 
Have your significant other lean back as far as possible on their chair. Be very careful in the neck area as it can be very delicate skin. Use extra lubrication and take your time. I press down on the skin to create tension which ensures a nice close shave. And remember I only recommend going up for people with experience. Time for the hairline. Pretty straightforward, just don't give your man the LeBron James. Follow his natural line with your blade. Be very careful cutting around the ears. Use your hand to pull the ear back as far as you can without hurting your significant other. And make sure you don't take the hairline around their ear too far up. Play with the angles to ensure that you're holding the blade in a way that is comfortable for you. Now we're going to comb the beard and use scissors to trim any loose and wild hairs and also to define the shape of the beard. Jason likes the tip of his beard to be longer. And there you have it. A perfect haircut, shape up, and beard trim. Like this video and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to learn how to master.